Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. If you haven't already, be sure to kick that like button in the jaw. Hit your subscribe to face and ring that notification bell like much started. And uh, yeah, it's time for your SmackDown review. What is this? What is this? If you haven't already, be sure to kick that like button in the jaw. Punch that subscribe button face and ring that notification bell like the match started. And today is your SmackDown review. And without any further delay, let's get the show on the road. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the channel. It is time for SmackDown review. Without any further delay, let's just get into it. Okay, first thing that happened. Randy Orton comes out to address Kofi. Well, he didn't really come out. Well, the case came out, and um, Randy Orton was on the Titantron and s read a letter from Kofi's kids. This rivalry has never been more personal. Right now, this rivalry seems just right with personal. And I think they're going to go, they're like, boo. So it went like, blah, 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 boo. Soon I think they're going to do this. Boo, so to super, super personal. And sometimes that's a good thing, sometimes it can be a bad thing. Um, but sometimes it just depends. But, um, yeah. And then it went into a brawl. Um, Randy Orton would put a, vin a DDT vintage Randy Orton on Kofi Kingston on the concrete floor backstage. Boom! <laughs> but, um, what do you know? But, um, Biggie checked on Kofi Kingston and the medical staff. Biggie said that, um, Kofi was going to be at Clash of Champions, but after tonight, Randy Orton will not be at Clash of Champions. So, well, the King of the Ring first round matches. Buddy Murphy versus Ali. This has to be the best this was the best match of the night. Both men are very talented. It could have gone either way. I I was ha I honestly thought Buddy Murphy was gonna win, but that didn't happen. And and that's a good thing. I want surprises. Anyway, all we won. Kind of this. It was kind of disappointing, but not that much. Um, Ollie goes to the quarterfinals of the King of the Ring tournament to take on Elias. Um, Buddy Murphy handshaked Ali and left. So I think Buddy Murphy is now a babyface. I'm just saying that. He's a babyface because. Because why not? Because, why not? But, um, yeah. Let's move on. Okay. The Miz... Bert challenges Shinsuke Nakamura for the Intercontinental Champion at Clash of Champions. Once again, Sami Zayn comes out. Again, this is a very good segment. Really loved it. Um, and it's mind-boggling that WWE has made Sami Zayn into a manager, but I think now he's got he's more free on the microphone, which is a good thing for Sami Zayn because he's good on the mic. But, either way, um, Shinsuke Nakamura came out, delivered a Kinshasa to The Miz, and now I want to see The Miz kick Shinsuke Nakamura. Kick Shinsuke Nakamura's ah. But, let's move on. Bailey versus Lacey Evans. That is right, Lacey Evans is back. Like a lady, like that, like a lady. Bam, bam, ba da, ba da, ba, ba da, 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 da. Like a lady, like, like a lady. Da. But yes, of course, Bailey wins this match, even with this distracting Charlotte Flair. And um.
But either way, we Bailey won. It was a very disappointing match. Had too much time. Didn't really care for it. And yeah. Bailey wins. Next match. Like a lady, act like a lady. Da, 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 da. But I okay. Randy Orton versus Biggie. A great match. Loved it. Um, of course, this would end with the revival. And then Randy Orton would win. But Biggie had the big advantage for almost this entire match. It's true. And this was a very, very, very competitive match. And I think people can say that as well. Um, <clears throat> so, Randy Orton would deliver like three RKO's or something after the match to Big E. Um, overall, it was like five RKO's during the match. Um, but now Xavier Woods has been taken out. Big E's been taken out. Now look, the thing is, I like Randy Orton. I really do. But with him with the Revival... I mean, it's good. This is a long. This is the first time I've cared about the revival in a very long time. But the revival just pissed me off, and I don't like it. Um. But Randy Orton, of course, is one of my favorites of all time. He's been my favorite ever since I started watching wrestling like six years ago. So. Like, I've been watching this over half my life. Randy Orton has been one of my favorites. But, still. Okay, before I go, before I talk any more about this, I'm getting off track. Let's move. Oh, okay. Kevin Owens comes and attacks Elias. Okay, so, at the beginning, Elias was sitting in the king's throne saying... Oh, long live Elias! Long live King Elias! Okay. Kevin Owens comes and attacks Elias. They go into the ring. Kevin Owens delivers a stunner to Elias. Our truth comes along. Come on, bro. One, two. Drake Maverick would pull our truth out of the ring and, and make sure that he just doesn't go. Our truth is unconscious. Drake Maverick goes into the ring, covers Elias. One, two, three. There you have it. Drake Maverick won the 24 7 champion. I'm actually very happy. Drake Maverick won. Um, because I was getting kind of tired of Elias. He was a boring 24 7 champion. <clears throat> so, Drake Maverick, there's your winner. I mean, it, it's good. So, yeah. Let's just get to it. But, um... Drag Maverick would celebrate, and in the run away... There's your chant. Also, did I forget to mention... At Raw and SmackDown... The WWE 2K19... Um... Million Dollar Champion was there. Um, I think it was, his name was Golden Tate or something. I don't know, but he he won the Million Dollar Tower. He beat a bunch of other people who won it. He won to um, NXT TakeOver New Orleans, and he beat AJ Styles, and boom. So he was there. Um, a little Easter egg. Not really an Easter egg. He, okay, if you had good eyes, you could see it. Okay. Chad Gable versus Shelton Benjamin in the final King of the Ring first round match. Um, this was not good because Gable and Shelton Benjamin are two talented athletes. Not, let's not get that wrong. But it just, they, they rushed it. Which I didn't like. Chad Gable won via, via WWE's favorite way to win a match. A roll up. But, 
Either way, Chad Gable will go to face Andrade. Andrade. Um, in the quarterfinals match next week on SmackDown. Okay, let's move on to the main event. Roman Reigns. Okay, so Daniel Bryan and Rowan went. Er, no, not Rowan. Eric Rowan are demanding an apology. And what do you know? Roman Reigns pulls up some footage. And as you can see, it is not in. Apparently, on the footage, blurred, blurred out. It it was Eric Rowan, but but since it was blurred out, it could have been the lookalike. Either way, Dan O'Brien did not trust it, and he decided to attack Rowan. Now they're not best friends. Um, um, they go out. Dan O'Brien keeps telling Roman, I, I didn't do it, I tell, I didn't tell him to do it, Roman, Roman's a liar, and everything, what do you know, Roman Reigns doesn't, doesn't take too kindly to that, and he knows there's a SPEAR, a spear to Daniel Bryan, and that is the end, Smackdown Live, was it a good show, no, was it a bad show, no, was it an average show, it was probably both, a little below average, for Eric Bischoff. Um, but, yes, below average is my grade. C minus. Yeah, C minus. There you go. C minus is the grade I give. Anyway, guys, thank you guys for joining me. If you haven't already, be sure to kick that like button on the jaw. Punch that subscribe button face and ring that notification bell like the match started. And I will see you guys tomorrow for your NXT review. Either way, I'll see you guys next time. Two. Sawit.